Hey guys, the teacher episode 16. <laughs> My baby is back home, so you guys might certainly hear him in the background. Back down in Marine Lane. Let's go. I'm tired, y'all. I'm tired of the Marvel. I need a swear jar so every time I cuss, I gotta put something in this jar that they will for sure probably, probably won't stop me. I ain't gonna even lie. After a very long flight, followed by a long drive to our resort in northern Finland, we arrived to see snow. Right. And a lot of it. Even though it was springtime, Finland had received an incredible amount of snow these last couple of weeks. And the weather forecast was showing that even more snow was on its way. Girl, y'all booked this at a bad time, baby, because I, I ain't trying to be up in nobody's snow. We were really happy uh, when we found our cabin. The sun was about to set and we were all exhausted after a long day of traveling. So obviously, the first thing we did was choose the rooms. What's to choose rooms? Sorry. This is the kids' room. Yeah. I call it dibs on this bed. That's cool. I'd rather have the bed closest to the toilet anyway. You better not wake up when you're uh well you better not wake me up when you go night peeing. <laughs> I won't trust me. I know how cranky you get when it comes to sleep. Oh shut up, Michelle. Or oh, shut it, Michelle. I don't get cranky. Mm, do you not really? Hey, yeah, I think I'm like, I might get that damn comfort, uh, that damn quilt. Oh, my God, a quilt like that, y'all. Daryl got this room with his stinking ass. Oh, look at me. Turn up. Hey, now I took this room. Love the fireplace. <laughs> but it was definitely the fireplace that made me fall in love with this room. It had a nice, cozy light when it, uh, when the fireplace was lit, which made me feel safe. Hey, turn up. And this is what, this is where people go just to be hanging out. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. We decided to take turns sleeping in the igloo outside that came with the cabin. Since we would be staying for three nights, the girls would get one night, then their, their would get one night, and I would get one night. We thought that was the perfect solution. And I honestly couldn't wait to get my night out there. Daryl, I don't like him. He gonna try some shit and watch him. He think he's just so cute. And I wish you could really play with these people how they really want. Like, I would be mind fucking him over. Legit. Um, okay, the staff made, sh uh, made sure our cabin was nice, warm, and lit up in every fireplace our living room was rustic and like the rest of the cabin very cozy and inviting inviting i was sure it was uh this getaway was going to be an adventure and believe me it was i'm sure this shit gonna be some full of shit i'm sorry y'all this is gonna be full of see i don't i don't like you daryl it's pretty nice huh uh, it would be nicer if you weren't here. I, devil, I can't. What? <laughs> I know he's been a jerk lately, but this is a bonding trip after all. You need to be nice. I thought we moved past uh, the fascinating part, Mia. You know, it's awfully inappropriate, right? I wasn't fascinating, actually. That's what I thought. <sighs> About you leaving, it was a pleasant fantasy. Too bad it was only a fantasy. Okay, okay, I believe you. But to answer your question, I really like this place. I especially love the flight, the fireplace in my room. You will love it even more after we've spent. A I don't like him, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> You'll like it even more after we spent a hot night in front of it together. <laughs> Jesus, that guy doesn't give up. But I'm uh but I am not going to uh get let him get to me. I'm going to enjoy this and bond with Kylie. Hopefully he'll take it easy with the flirting so I can get to know him a bit better too. I fuck him. Don't wanna know him. 
I know all I need to know about him is he think he real cute, girl. He think he's the shit's naive, so we have to knock that shit down a pedestal or five. Ugh, I can't stand us like that, legit. Anyway, since we're all exhausted, we ordered a room service to our cabin, ate some food, and headed straight for bed. I could faintly hear the girls giggling. They weren't yeah, ready to go to sleep just yet. But I was. So mm-hmm. I didn't take wait, so it didn't take me long to fall asleep. Listening to the fireplace crackling in the window howling outside. I mean the wind the window. The wind howling outside. Ain't that dangerous, bitch? You go to sleep with a fucking fireplace. Dallas. You know you just got your damn nerve, huh? I slept like a baby that night. He just turned the damn radio on because he's he just the shit now. Nah. Mm. Oh, oh, all right. The next day, I was ready to get some serious bonding time with Kylie and her friend Michelle. Hey, Shelly, Shell. But apparently, they had other plans. Hey, girls. Hey, Mia. So, what are you up for? Uh, wait. So, are you up for a hike in the morning? In the mount. Wait. Are you up for a morning hike in the mountains? Thank you. Uh, uh, actually, we signed up for the ski introduction last night, uh, in the lobby. Oh, that's cool, too. I'll join you. Actually, you need to be signed up for it. And there's only two spots left last night. I wasn't blind. I could hear how they'd rather just be by themselves. I think they're lesbians, honey. I'm sorry. I hate to be the one to call little Kylie and Michelle gay, but I think these little girls is gay. They're the lesbians. Okay, anyway, I could I could understand that I was pretty old in their eyes. I remember being thirteen too. Remember I remember thinking older people were like aliens too. Damn. I thought it was pretty uh cute how they didn't want to hurt my feelings though. I see. I'll just go hiking then. Are you sure you'll be fine? Of course, Mia. We'll stay on the green slopes and stick to the instructor. Good. Don't forget your cell phone and make sure you can hear it, okay? Got it. We'll see you later. And just like that, I was kicked out like I was an annoying and nagging mother. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, yeah. See you uh, later, girls. Have fun. Daryl was sleeping. Well, was still sleeping, so I was on my own. We don't want to hang out with Daryl, girl. We don't. I know this is called the teacher and all, but the teacher didn't get on my damn nerve. He was cute in the beginning. Then he had to go and be a, a fucking butthole. Okay, but that was okay with me. I knew the girls were eager to explore this place because so was I. So I got dressed, went out into the snow by myself. The air was crisp and the sun was sharp. Everything was so bright because of the snow. Yes, for the damn puffer coat, honey. Snow I always uh, had always been something. I hate the snow, but I'm going to say I love. I absolutely loved the snow, the way it's... Uh, well, I absolutely love the way it sparkled. How it gently fell from the sky. I hate snow, y'all. Even though I was, I'm, I'm a snow baby. Stop! Give me that. And of course... Um, how much fun you could have in it. I just loved it. I knew hiking in winter wonder, uh, in Wonderland was a good start to this vacation. Let's see. I enjoyed the quietness and the serenity of this place. Here your stinking ass, girl. Enjoying the peace and quiet. Yeah, so why you... I was, right. Why did you bring your ass up here? Apparently, he had followed me. What do you want, Daryl? Whoa, easy, tiger. I'm just out hiking myself. Smells so good, but but. So it's just a coincidence you took the exact same route as me? Must be. I cannot stand his ass. I'm sorry I can't stand him. They only have three uh, to choose from that are marked after. I'd like some privacy. Well, I like some privacy. Why? Wasn't the whole tr- uh, p- whole point of this trip to Bond? He said in a mocking tone of voice. I like you, uh, like you ever cared about that. Uh-uh, get up off me. Get up off me, dude. 
He walked up behind me. I could feel his warm breath on the back of my neck. He always in my area. Hold on. Wait a minute now. What happened? I don't know what the fuck he said, y'all. He said, come on me or something. He, um... Shit, to hook up with girls. Obviously, to hook up with girls, you think highly of me, huh? Yeah. Just leave me alone, girl. Come on, turn around. I actually have a surprise for you. He, he lightly turned me towards him. Mm -hmm. I'm not interested in whatever you have for me. <laughs> I think you'll be interested in this. Come with me. Trust me. Why should I trust you? You probably arranged some kind of couple's massage session <laughs> where I have to massage you or something. No, but that was actually a good idea. I'll see if they have something like that in their spa. Get your ass on. I, I lightly hit him on the shoulder and he continued to laugh. Just come with me, Miss Rose. We don't have all day. For some reason, it made my heart flutter when he called me Miss Rose. Maybe because it reminded me of how forbidden any relationship but a professional one was with him. Well, with him was. Anyway. I like was with him. Anyway. Um, what is it now? You're blushing. I, I'm i not. It's just freaking cold. Whatever. Come on. This better be good. And it was. Reindeers. Girl. Fucking donkeys with fucking antlers. I told you you love this. And we're going for a ride in the sleigh. That was the plan. I booked it last night in the lobby. Why is everyone booked something awesome, but I somehow missed it? Right, girl. Everybody in the goddamn lobby. And this one is ours. Fucking donkeys. Anyway. Let's go. Shit. Oh my, I really can't wait. Climb aboard. We're leaving soon. Uh, we get this sleigh to ourselves. Our guy has his own sleigh up front and all the reindeers will just follow him. We barely have to hold on to the reins. That's awesome. Let's go. I don't like Daryl, y'all, girl. We get inside the sleigh and Daryl made sure I was nicely covered with blankets. I found that oddly nice of him. Right. We were also given a complimentary uh, thermal can of hot chocolate. Ooh, that sounds so good. I think I'm about to make some. That we could sip on during the one hour sleep. Bitch, I'm about to sit in this shit for one hour now. So, yes, it was pretty romantic. Do you mean for it to be ro this romantic? Of course not. It would be. That would be inappropriate. Very. He smiled at me. It was almost like he only said it that it was meant to be romantic because he had to. It wasn't meant to be romantic because he had to. True. I got the feeling he didn't really mean what he said. He was playing. Girl, he's playing with you, girl. He was definitely playing that stupid game of his trying to make me fall for him. But I was going to fall. But I wasn't going to fall for it. I can definitely enjoy this, but I'll keep my distance from him. Thank you. Both because anything else would be inappropriate and because I don't want to be one of his girls. The whole ride, I was thinking of, let's think of Will. That's Nick, he's your age, girl. And that amazing date we had a few days ago. We almost kissed. Maybe I should write him tonight. Hey, you brought your swimwear, right? I'm not going swimming in the frozen lake with you if that's what you think. If that's what you, if that's what you think, uh, I wouldn't do that either. It's my well. Things tend to shrink <laughs> in freezing water. They <laughs> say it makes my. <laughs> He's a nasty son of a b word, girl. I didn't need to hear that at all, girl. Anyways, you can actually rent a jacuzzi for a few hours and it's going to be great. Oh, and it's got a great view of the landscape. What exactly are you suggesting? How about we make it? How about we make a deal? I don't like the sound of this. We spend tomorrow with me. Wait, well, you spend tomorrow with me. We get in that jacuzzi alone and maybe hike a bit afterwards. 
And in exchange for your time with me, I promise to answer all of your questions. All of them? Well, almost. There are some things that I don't feel like sharing right now. But I promise you, I won't be difficult. Uh, well, I won't be difficult to be around. I'll be at my very best behavior. So let me get this straight. You promise to really let me get to know you if I just spend a tomorrow with you. And go wherever I want us to go. Oh, okay, well, only if you promise we can leave whenever I want. If you make me feel really uncomfortable. Uh, I promise, but I won't make you uh, feel uncomfortable. I'll make you feel really comfortable. I know I, I knew I really hoped and wished that this trip could would let me get closer to Daryl. What? That we would be more friendly after that. It was very important for me to have things running smoothly between all of us. So that I could make sure that this job was all I needed to save up uh, the money for NYU. Uh, it would be a lot less stressful for me to live under their house if I got along with Daryl. I knew I had to accept his offer and I wanted to. I don't want to, girl. After he, he, he was smart enough not to try anything with me. Fine, we've got a deal. But don't try and charm me or mess with my head. Miss Rose, you know very well that I can't promise I won't. <laughs> wait, I can't promise you I won't be charming. It's who I am. Girl, bye. And I'm not sure what you mean with mess with your head. But I know I make you fantasize sometimes if that's <laughs> what you mean. <laughs> Definitely not. I mean, don't try it. And, and, uh,. So, <laughs> so that was exactly what you meant. You're so annoying. Fine, I'll try not to give you too much to uh, too much reason to fantasize about me, Miss Rose. Get your ass on. He's so fucking irritating. I could tell by his tone of voice that he was smiling. Uh, the way he whispered in my ear made me uh made my ice cold body temperature go from zero. It's a hero in a matter of seconds. What the fuck does that mean, girl? Tomorrow was going to be a highly challenging day. Hopefully, the girls had already made some made plans themselves. I would have had, what well, I would hate to have them think we didn't want to be with them. But after what happened today, I'm pretty sure they prefer to just be with uh, they just be with us in the evening. And run around by themselves during the day. Our romantic sleigh ride was coming to an end soon. It w it had been pretty easy to just sit there and enjoy the snow-covered um, landscape gliding by. As the reindeers just followed the one in front of the guy. Like Daryl said. I'm sorry. <laughs> She's getting boring, child. Uh, we didn't even have to hold the reins. And I honestly didn't want that to end. Uh, Dallas, can you get off of the computer, sir? Like, you should see this kid. Get down! Get down, bub. Uh, it was getting dark soon, and the temperature was dropping as the sun was starting to set. We were heading home so we could uh, go get some dinner, all of us, in one of, of the hotel's many nice restaurants. Hey, Mia. Thank you for coming with me on the sleigh ride. No, actually, thank you for planning it and inviting me to come with you. It was surprisingly nice of you. Don't get used to it. As, just as I thought I was seeing the nice, genuine side of him, does it uh, does it come naturally to you to be this annoying, or have you practiced a lot? You really shouldn't have said that. What are you doing? You better start running, Miss Rose. Run, girl. He was he was about to shower me with snow, and I was incredibly clumsy with my big winter boots. So I thought the best thing I could do was just to start running already. You look funny when you run. Do you know that? 
You look funny in general. <laughs> Hold your ass. Oh, she really shouldn't have said that. Oh, shit. He chased me all the way home, occasionally throwing a snowball on my butt. <laughs> Obviously, that was his main target. But I managed to get home without getting soaked in icy snow. However, I couldn't count on my luck to the last since I agreed to spend all tomorrow with him. We almost came crashing through the front door of the cabin laughing. I actually had a great time with him today. But I knew I had uh, a challenge ahead of me tomorrow. And his name was Daryl Collins. All right. Turn up. All right, now. I hope you all enjoyed this. Because, um, yeah, that's about it, girl.